Hi guys, hope everybody is doing really well. Uh, today I've got a really interesting video, well, at least I think it is anyway. Um, a buddy of mine, Michael, um, sent me a picture, said, Ben, have you seen this bike? It's amazing, I bet you love it. And she, he sent me this amazing picture of a bike which he ran across on Instagram from, um, it turns out, a lovely chap called Dewey. Now Dewey has, um, been collecting um antique tools for about 30 years um, and he lives in indonesia and he strapped them all with zip ties to an amazing bike and was using it as a training bike and i think a bit of a giggle as well so i'll show you some pictures of what michael sent me So as you can see, it was quite amazing bike. It was fantastic. So Michael said, "Have you have, just have a look at this?" So I had a look. I thought, thought it was amazing. So I said, "Michael, send me a link to the guy." So he sent me a link to the chap's Instagram, and I contacted him. And it turns out he's a he was a follower on me on Instagram. So the message went straight through, and he replied back. And I said to him, "I said, I understand it's your wonderful training bike. It's great." But would you consider um, possibly, you know, dismantling it and selling them to me? So he said, give me a couple of days to think about it. And he got back to me. He said, yeah, I'll sell it. Yeah. Um, and I told him I was trying to build a, you know, a full set of Van Dials of Holland wrenches. And so he dismantled his bike amazingly. And he built me an absolutely amazing wooden box from scratch. Um, I'll show you that wooden box now. And he proceeded amazingly after making that wonderful, wonderful box. He actually shipped them out. Now in Indonesia, you can't actually post um, an item. So he had to take the box and take all the wrapping material and take all the wrenches to the parcel office. And he had to wrap them in front of the staff being checked one by one. And then after it being checked, and then it was parcel and I thought that was quite interesting because in England you can turn up and just send anything anywhere without actually them knowing what's in the box. So I'll send you some pictures of that. I thought it was really interesting. Right, and here is what was inside the, this amazing box, which Dewey wrapped so diligently and shipped so amazingly. Now, it took six days for it to get from Indonesia to Manchester Depot, and then it took 14 days to get from Manchester Depot, which is five miles from my house, to me because of our inefficiencies. So it was really quick, then really slow, but it all arrived. Now this is what was <laughs> part of what was actually strapped. Now it's hard to give a sense of size. So let me measure them and see how long they are. So the Van Dials of Holland is two foot, 24 inches long. And the head itself is probably 10 inches with the nut and the bolt. So it's absolute monsters. Now I've dismantled them because a friend of mine, Silky, who probably got the best collection of this type of tool in the world, um, absolutely outstanding. In fact, I will insert a picture of Silky's collection because it is amazing. So he's the uh, out in front as the main man for these. And I I'm suspect I'm coming close to number two. Not sure how many. Now, we've got two. The reason why I was so interested was for these three wrenches. Um, there, is, there was a, a number two 
of Holland, which was on his um, on his bike. And there was a number three, which is a wonderful wrench. And I would have gone absolutely mad for that a little while ago, which I will clean both of those up um, and put them on the wall. But these are the three I really wanted. Now, this one here is in really poor condition. And I think I'm going to do a clean up on this and probably grind it and make it look newer again because it's such a special wrench i can't bear to look at it in this you know sort of pickled state if you will and um, but this is a van dials of holland with the plane without the writing very rare and he had two amazing number sixes now the number six what i find is absolutely fascinating i don't know if you can see here but they were made by thomas chatwin of Birmingham now I'm sure now the, this one has had paint on it and I think it's protected it really really well and this one is a is a bit of a pit monster but still they both deserve need to be cleaned up so my job for today is probably get these degreased possibly take the paint off this and then put them in the evaporust if they'll fit in my container I hope I hope they will. I think they will. I think they will. And then tomorrow I might start cleaning them up. So um, I'm going to try and get these dismantled and cleaned. Um, so hopefully I'll show you the packing parcel box, which he actually made as well. And hopefully, well, in your sense, it'll be a few seconds. But hopefully tomorrow I'll have these cleaned up, at least these two. That's going to be the name of the game. Get these two cleaned up. And, I'll, and we can work from there. But yeah, um, I'm going to put a link to um, my buddy's fantastic Instagram. So if you want to go watch the videos of him riding the bike and see it and go leave a comment, I'll put a link below to his Instagram and you can check it below. Um, so fantastic. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in a little bit. And here is the wonderful packing packing crate which is made which i kind of made a bit of a hash getting out of because i left that screw so i broke the screw and um, but he did an amazing job he put side supports in the box and he used kind of a nice solid hardwood as well pallet wood so he's done a lovely job very talented guy all right let's get these cleaned and i'll see you in a bit right guys we're back um i've given a clean and um, this one i cleaned yesterday i didn't use any evaporust and these four I put in evaporust just to dissolve the worst of it before I give them a light clean. Um, the first one I think is an absolute beauty. You can see here, it's got the markings quite, quite clear to say um, it's made in Birmingham by Chatwin. Uh, Chatwin Van Dooley's Paintant from 1896. So this is obviously the van van dooley's paintant from 1896 and it's an absolute beauty um, and these number sixes are extremely rare in fact the only person i know who had one which is silky i've showed you his collection which is magnificent um uh, so alex and dewey and also michael for letting me know um i've really helped uh, move this collection along but the number sixes are magnificent and they're absolute beauties the number three is not too bad you can see also you can just about make out made in in birmingham um number three and then we got which is also a magnificent um but highly pitted so with this one which is so pitted what i think i'm going to do is i think i'm going to get the angle grinder out and try and you know do a polish job on it because i don't know i just think it's deserves a bit more attention than what 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 you know what you know a little bit more attention so so hmm. but this is extremely rare and alex has just bought me a book with an advertisement of this in so i'll show you that when it comes um so yeah um even silky has, has not picked one of this this style up quite yet so even though the condition is poor, it's still a rare beast indeed, a very rare beast. So yeah, um, I'm going to lay all these out now and show you my full collection. Um, and yeah, um, don't forget there'll be a link below to go check out Dewey's uh, Instagram page and you can watch him and videos of him riding the bike and stuff and you can leave him a comment. 
all right thanks for watching if you've got this far um i'll show you i'll show you my collection and we'll be done smiley face right guys so i've laid out all apart from one i think i've got a number three which alex has got um apart from that i've laid them all out and this is the full set apart from a number zero so we got a six a five a four a three a two and a one there is a number zero which is a very small one which i do not have and on this side i've got a six a four missing a five three two one so i'm just missing a five and a zero two zeros to make two complete sets for my eventual wall display and um, so yep yeah, really really grateful to alex and to dewey and to michael for the heads up um these number sixes with the um with the the chat one you know to think that this was made in in birmingham shipped to the netherlands then shipped to indonesia and um, because obviously indonesia was a colony of um the, the netherlands of the dutch and then to be shipped all the way back to the country of manufacture i think is quite amazing so super super happy and um, really really good and um, super grateful um to everybody who's helped me find these to nearly complete the set i mean these are from 1897 was it and um, so these are 100 and nearly 30 years old original patent and um, really really rare and you know that's a magnificent display all right so thanks for watching if you got this far uh, don't forget to check out um dewey's uh, instagram page all right thanks for watching take care have a wonderful day bye